Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the fastest way of installing Python on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So first thing you want to do is go to Google and type Python, go to the first link, then go to the downloads, just the drop down, don't have to click anything, and click on the download or Windows button. Go ahead and download the file and click on that to open up the Python installer. Every time you install software like Python or other languages, usually you have to add location of that application to environment variables in Windows. But this installer allows you to do that automatically. Just click on add Python 3 to path and it will add Python to environment variables. What that does is it allows Python to be accessible from command line anywhere on your system. If you don't check this box, you'll only be able to run Python from command line from the directory where it was installed. But if you want to run Python from VS Code, for example, you have to have this box checked. You can go ahead and click the Install Now button, but in this tutorial, I'll go with the custom installation. Just to show you that, we're also installing pip, which is Python package installer, kinter, which is basically Python GUI toolkit for making Windows on any operating system, and then the py launcher, which will allow you to run Python by typing py instead of Python on the command line. Go ahead and click on the next button, then install for all users by checking the first checkbox, and you will see that also changed my installation path to program files Python 3.10. Just wait until Python is installed. Now go ahead and close that window and we're going to check if Python was installed properly. Go to your start button, type CMD and hit enter or click open and type Python dash dash version. You should be able to see the version of Python. If you don't see this, something went wrong with your installation. But if you do, that's a really good sign. It means that we have successfully installed Python. Remember that we also installed PY launcher. So go ahead and type PY, hit enter, and this will give you the Python shell. So let's type something in Python and see if it works. Basically, you can type any proper Python statement here and hit enter. As you can see, we have used the print function to print out some basic text. Python's IDLE that we also installed here, go ahead and type IDLE. It's basically like a GUI version of the command prompt. And here you can also do uh, various Python experiments and just to see if your Python statements will work. You can use this for testing your Python code. And as you can see, it's writing here as well.